Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a cool sketch style effect easily in After Effects. Let's get started. First I'll duplicate my clip twice, so we have a total of 3 layers, then I'll rename each layer in order to keep everything organized. I'll name the first layer car only and the second layer effects to stay organized. Let's begin with the car only layer. I'm naming it that because I'll be isolating the car from the background. To do this, select the roto brush tool, then double click on the layer to enter roto mode. Carefully rotoscope the car, making sure the selection is as clean and smooth as possible. Once you're done, click the freeze button to lock the roto and when it finishes processing, close the rotoscoping window. Now let's move to the effects layer and start applying some effects. First apply the find edges effect, then add the curves effect. In the curve settings, push the shadows to the right to deepen the dark areas and pull the highlights to the left to brighten the lighter areas. Under the find edges effect, you can enable invert to create a darker look, but in this case, Leaving it uninverted gives a white sketchy style, which looks cleaner and more effective for this effect. If you want the sketchy look effect to appear only in the background, we can simply mask out the foreground. Make sure the effects layer is selected, then choose the rectangle tool and draw a mask around the area you want to exclude. Set the mask mode to subtract, and then adjust the mask position and size until the sketch effect is applied only where you want it in the background. Now press F on your keyboard to reveal the mask feather setting and increase the feather to around 400 for a smooth and natural transition between the foreground and background. We also need to track the mask, otherwise it won't follow the movement properly and will look off. To do that, open the mask settings, make sure you're at the beginning of the layer and click the stopwatch icon next to mask path to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the end of the layer and adjust the mask position to match the subject's movement. Let's quickly preview the result to make sure it's tracking smoothly. Everything looks perfect to me. The only thing I'll adjust is the roto brush settings to refine the edges a bit more. Select the car only layer, then increase the feather to around 10 to soften the edges. Set the shift edge to minus 12 to pull the edges inward slightly and increase reduce chatter to 100% for a cleaner and more stable result. The main part is now complete and the final step is to apply the scribble effect. But before that, we need to apply a mask directly to the car, because the scribble effect doesn't work with roto brush selections. To fix that, we'll convert the roto brush selection into a mask. Start by soloing the car only layer, then go to the layer menu and select auto trace. Copy the settings I'm using, click OK, and wait for the process to complete. Once auto trace is complete, you can remove the roto brush effect, since we now have a mask applied directly to the car. Next apply the scribble effect to the car only layer. Set the fill type to outside edge, and change the composite setting to on original image. Now unsolo the car only layer, then press M to reveal the mask, and make sure the mask mode is set to add. That's it, the sketchy scribble effect is now applied and everything is set and we are done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.